Well, since I've been playing with U-Control lately, I was on a search in my local hobby shop, and uh, I found in Donovan's Hobbies in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, this Buster. Now, I had one of these when I was a kid, and this has to be from at least 1955. Uh, so this is a Buster, it's a control line, U-Control, and uh, it was designed to work on just 049, and it was made by SIG Manufacturing in Montezuma, Iowa. SIG is still in business, in fact, that's where I got the lines. I paid $25.95 for this. Let's open it up, show you what we got in here. We have a set of instructions for the Buster, Buster or Shoestring. I had both, set of decals, uh, we've got the wing, elevator rudder, fuselage, and some hardware, and a full-size set of plans. So let's put it together and see how it flies. I'm going to use an electric motor on it. Okay, being that I'm missing two wheels out of this kit, maybe I should uh, send it back to these guys, huh? <laughs> I think this guy's still there. Okay, I've got all my sanding done. I'm going to cover it all with Monaco now, and also I'm going to take a look at uh, the way I'm going to hook this motor on. Uh, but I'm going to Monaco everything first before I put it together. To do that, of course, I'm going to use some coverite sealing iron and uh, the Monaco heat gun. I'm going to put everything together then with my mercury adhesives and uh, my electric glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've kind of outlined about a quarter of an inch bigger all the way around the pieces that I'm going to cover with the tail. Remember, you have to make two of these, so I'm going to cut two sets. And what I'm going to do is cover the top first and then the bottom, I'll show you. To separate the plastic from the piece you're going to use. Now what I like to do is make sure that this is sitting on here nice and straight. Just want to seal that up around the edges on one side. This is the way I do it. Uh, also, uh, around the curves and corners, I cut slots with the razor blade and trim this so I don't have a whole lot overlapping. Now I take the monocoat iron and just simply melt these down carefully around the edges. I'll take the paper off of this one, take the other half, and iron this on. And this is real easy. Cut it close now. Take your heating iron and melt that together. Now I'm doing the same thing with the fuselage, just so I'm showing the heat gun. Um, I've never been very good at monocoating. Monocote is one of the earliest films, uh, solar film and other, there's other films now that are much easier with better shrinkability to use, but Monocote was heavy and very strong, fuel resistant, and uh, we really didn't care how it looked in those days, just as long as it held together. Okay, here I am uh, sealing the top half of the wing. Uh, just go around the edges now. Seal everything down nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and use a regular just brushed motor and a uh, 7.4 volt lipo. Here is the bell crank system hooked up and the finished plane.
Made in flight. <laughs> Definitely not enough power. This is the recommended gas motor uh, for this airplane. It's a .15. That would really make it whole, and I may just put it on there. But I'm gonna try another electric motor, 1200 watt. So we'll see what happens. Very windy today, folks. Windy? We're ready. We're ready. U-Control is what we called this type of flying in the early days because the handle and lines formed a big U. Then came the nickname Yuki. Nowadays, they call this control down line. Into the wind, up, down wind. <laughs> I am dizzy. Okay, now we got to set up the balloons. And why it's called a buster is because this was used for balloon busting. The Goodyear Racer. Pretty fun, huh, Jeff? Yeah. Like that one. Okay. Wait till you see what I do tomorrow when I add a servo. Even though it took two days of solid work, the feeling when flying was like a million bucks. Gosh, I like playing with the early toys, even with all the drawbacks, it's fun.